hands. Welcome back to the blog of the month. Apparently, hey, hope you guys are doing all right. Me? Well, I've been keeping myself busy. But also, I've been wondering about hands. No, not in the fetish way. No. Shh. No. Stop wondering about drawing them and about what people really think. Do you like drawing hands? It's commonly known that artists don't really enjoy drawing hands, even to the point of trying to avoid them completely, especially at the beginning. You know, behind their back, long sleeves, good old times. Me, on the other hand, <laughs> I've been told I draw them well, and I like drawing them. I think they give the illustration another light to it. Maybe because you can make it more dynamic by adding hand poses to the overall dynamic posing of the character. You know, hands are articulated as the whole body, and that's probably why they are difficult. I'm not really sure, but compare a drawing trying to hide them with one that doesn't, they do add something to it. So I can't relate to the May Maze. But the real question is, how did I get to like drawing hands? Okay, so let's try to go back to the time right before I started to learn. Back to a itty bitty Charlie that used to draw freaking mittens. Fingers just didn't exist to me. But then someone introduced me to DeviantArt. It was at that time that I became obsessed with artists like Blitman and his crossover comics. I fell in love with his art style, and I was so eager to start my own comic. The same year, I met someone in school that also wanted to make one, and already had this comic idea, so we became friends. That's probably when I started at least adding some lines to the mitten hands to give the illusion of, yes, they do have fingers. But everything changed when the land of fire attacked. Mother! Freaking Naruto! I just... <laughs> I admit it, I was absolutely infatuated with the show. Ah! I joined forums, I started to read the manga, I colored manga pages, I created fan characters, I... I put a bandana! I don't remember doing the Naruto running though. Where was I going with... What does Naruto have to do with all this? Well... Hand signs, those godforsaken jutsus that needed different hand poses to get them work. They were so prominent that it was almost impossible for me to draw an Naruto fan art without hands involved. I don't know, I mean, you can, it didn't look as cool. Especially if you wanted your fan characters to do ninja stuff too. So suddenly I started to find out the importance of drawing hands on a character illustration and the dynamic angle they give to it. Everything is actually blurry for me. I'm not saying that Naruto taught me how to draw hands. It was actually a book called Drawing Dynamic Comics by Andy Smith, where they explain the use of references and difference between designs for illustration and animation, especially a little detail about hands too, how they're simplified to be animated, for example, and how they have to be more detailed for a still image. I... I don't have that book anymore. What Naruto did, and what any shonen anime at the time could have done too, was to make me draw hands constantly. So at the end, yeah, it's practice, but it made me actually like to practice them. I'm still having problems lately. Last year on my internship, an amazing artist at the studio saw me struggling with a hand. Well, I'm not really a morning person and I wasn't really in a good place, but still, he came to me and said something so probably obvious, but it blew my mind then. Try drawing the shape of the hand pose first and then the lines for the structure. It has become so useful for me now. And mixed with using photo references, it just has made everything more pleasant. I take photos of my own hands, by the way. So yeah, if you guys didn't like to draw hands, hope this video helped you consider their importance. And well, this isn't a tutorial, but I hope some of the advice mentioned helped too. Take pictures of your hands more often whenever you're struggling. Draw the basic shape or silhouette and then add details. Your characters will appreciate it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Remember that, holy crap, they're already? Oh, thank you. So much love given lately. You know what that means? Raffle time! Rules soon to be posted on Instagram and Twitter. Check out more of my stuff there too. Did you check the new bonus track of Animoya already? Links in the description. And if you want to support my content, you can donate on Patreon. And you can ask for three high-res fan arts on the first month. Don't want to be a patron and just want to donate once? Well, you can buy me a coffee then. Thank you for watching and remember, please stay safe, wear a mask and wash your hair! Good news everybody! I'm not recording from a cardboard box anymore. I'm recording from my closet.